Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen Kumi Trent. Today we're going on a trip. We're going to a tropical paradise. Yes, we're going to a tropical paradise in watercolor. This is a very fairly simple tutorial with watercolor and a little bit of masking fluid. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to go over my supplies. I have a piece of Arches 100% cotton cold pressed paper. It's a 7x10 piece. I taped down with um, Scott's Magic Tape. I, um, I put the tape on my fabric first and then like, my pants or a shirt, whatever, so it gets a little less sticky when I tape it down. Um, I s roughly sketched out, I did the horizon line here, the beach. I have the attachment of the um, royalty free image I'll put in the description box you just hit that show more button like the little arrow next to show more under the video and you'll scroll down and you'll hit and you'll see the, um, the link to this um, but you don't really need it I mean you can sketch some palm trees going this way a little island on horizon line go down here on the beach so here's the beach horizon line um, I am going to be using masking fluid um, this is the PB PBO drawing gum masking fluid. It's pretty cheap. You can get it on Amazon for like four or five dollars. I use a crappy old brush. I have my paints, my uh, paper towel, and my water. And um, I'll just go over the palm trees that I painted, I mean, excuse me, drew right here with this masking fluid. I want to do the um, the palm leaves just a little skinny, see like that. It's good to have a little skinny brush to use this masking fluid with for this particular exercise. We're just doing these little wispy pump. Why I'm using masking fluid without using masking fluid? Well, you don't really need it, but if you want to just paint your sky and your background um, going across without having to worry about painting in between, you can do that so much easier with this masking fluid. Um, it's really, it's, like I tell you, it's so cheap. It's, I think I paid four or $5 for this. That's US dollars, by the way. Um, and I don't use it all the time, but, you know, you're just painting in these little wispy. It will, once it's dry, then you can paint over it. And it may seem silly, you know, um, using it, but, it's a nice tool to have. Um, the water splashing here would be good to use it too. So if you get mess up, you can just put in that masking fluid here where it's splashing and splattering. It's making that. And if you don't have this and you have some white gouache, you just do that instead. I mean, it's that simple. You know, use what you have in your toolbox, as I always say because I didn't have masking fluid forever. I was, um, what's the word? Hesitant to buy it. Didn't ever use it and I showed you one of my tutorials how I, my first time using it with that uh, ocean scene. So I'm just gonna wisp in, I'm not gonna do all of this, just a few um, of the palms because there's gonna be some dark green ones. Okay, so we're gonna we're back with this. Um, gonna mix up some of the sky. Um, that sky is a little dull. It's kind of like not the sky I'd want to paint for a tropical scene. Although we're gonna have aqua down in here, I want to put a bright sky up there. So I've mixed some turquoise, as you see here. I'm using my crappy brush to mix with some ultramarine blue. So we'll get it like a dark, deep, deeper, darker sky, but it's more on that bright family. So I grab that turquoise. That was a deep turquoise color. So what I'm going to do is grab a big brush. Uh, just a just a craft brush. This is just a simple flat craft brush. Nothing fancy. Grab some water. So I did my horizon line. The, the greenery for the island is going to be back here. So I'm just going to put it all over here, leaving the greenery as the horizon line across. Get it wet. 
damp basically, you're not super wet. You don't want drippy water paint, so I'm going to take off any excess. And we're going to paint in, I'm going to get this a little more wet, a little too dry. There we go, get this bright color. I'm going to wash that in. Now it's a little, I put too much water in it, so it's a little dull. So I'm going to go back in and add some more turquoise ultramarine thicker paint. And you see now we're getting dark. You can have it kind of blend like downward like this. You want to lift up your I taped it down so you can lift it up and it can kind of bleed down naturally, taking the puddles in the side away. But you can add some more of that deeper color right up top. And it's just start to blend and it's to see it's starting to bleed downward. If it's not doing it fast enough, you can just put this dark color up here again. Grab some more of that ultramarine. And use a spray bottle. If you don't have a spray bottle, that's a good tool to have. They're pretty cheap. You can get them at Michael's, whatever. And you spray it so it moves down more. See, it's moving down. It's blending. You're holding it up, at, you know, stay straight up to blend it down more. Or you can go back in and take a bigger brush, your big brush. Wisp it with the water and it should blend down faster because maybe it was dry down below and it wasn't blending. Okay, go across. Again, I'm going to grab those two colors, put it even darker up here. I want it fairly really dark up there. So you want the paint to be a little creamier, less water. See, I put some more water in here. There we go. Just trying to get that deep blue tone. And then stand it upright to bleed it down. It's fairly good. So then for the clouds, you know, you've seen me do this a million times. Um, I'm going to take my paper towel, scrunch it up, and just tap out the color. It's that simple. I mean, you could have put masking fluid there too, if you wanted to. But I like the paper towel because you're gonna get those slight nuanced um, tones right in here. You know, some white clouds over here. You don't have to follow exactly the picture either, too. Just put your own clouds in, wherever you, wherever you want them. Some clouds back in here, down in here. Little teeny ones out here, out, way out. But there was a big one right there in the front. You're just lifting up that paint. It's that simple. Over here it got a little too dark so we can lift it up too over here with the paper towel. And I'm going to put some paint. I'm going to take uh, one of my bigger brushes, this Princeton Long 8 Round. I'll put some more color down in here too. There we go. It kind of went over my horizon a little bit, but that's okay. So we're going to work the turquoise on the ocean part, similar to this, but opposite. So the, that's why we kept it lighter down here. We're going to grab that 
Now I'm going to paint wet into dry. I'm not going to do the wet on wet. We're just going across. You should see here. If you want it super perfect, you know, you could tape and then paint because I'm just going by my eye and see I'm gonna grab some more of that turquoise paint really just right out of the tube and um, ultramarine a little touch of indigo or a little bit darker so you want the little darker there I lift it up so I can see better yes now you can lift it up and on a, like a 30 degree angle just kind of wash in some paint going across like that because it's going to get lighter as you get towards those waves as you can see in the picture or you can take the turquoise itself over here see and use that going towards that but you want to put some water on that it's got to be a little bit lighter when you're hitting that wave area part Again, it's doing wet onto dry. Just filling in this area, leaving the white spaces, the beach. See, so going on to here where the wave would be with the color of turquoise. You want to get a little dark in there. Took some of that dark turquoise paint that I had. Again, take that dark paint, just do some lines going across. And if you want to get even darker towards the island area, I grab some indigo again, get it really dark in there. And just grabbing the turquoise. Don't be afraid. It's going to look great. Just going across. And I'm just trying to get this straightened. And a little more of that dark color out here. Some turquoise. Blending that in, and you can get a little lighter going towards the sand. I put a little dark, like I said, the dark turquoise with that right underneath that white area. It's just going to highlight that better. And on the back of this, doing some strokes like this. Over in this section, you know, there's going to be some greenery over in here. So you don't have to get too technical with the water coming out to the end. Um, like I said, we're going to have the island back here. Now our island's a little stumpier than theirs, but that's okay. I'm gonna grab some of this medium green. Now I'll have to activate some of this hooker screen. my crappy brush oh, you know me and I throw my burnt umber in there <laughs> look it's more of that medium green and we're just gonna loosely put in some of those greeneries see just dabbing with my um, Princeton 8 long round And actually what I think I'm going to do next is the sand because I want that underneath the green. So I've mixed up some yellow, lemon yellow, with some burnt umber. 
and I'm going to get this filly wet because I want it to be very light for the sand. Again, I'm going to paint wet on dry. So make this filly wet so it's lighter. You can get a little darker going towards the water. But that's how we're going to do this. I'm just going to put that sand in real quick. Wet on dry. If you hear that clanking noise, that's my water pot. And you might want to mix up a lot more paint than I mix, mixed up to get that even first first under layer of the color. And I'm pushing it all in there. I'm gonna mix up mix some more of the yellow. And this burnt number yellow. can throw in some of the, see it has some of these little lines and stuff in here from the beach. Maybe they beach combed it, who knows. <laughs> I'm going to throw in a touch of black. Uh, I got a little too dark. But that's okay. Just go back in. Yellow, looks a little green, huh? Right Amber. It's a little brown. Get it really, really wet. We can go in here, Gonna add in our sand. We'll put the shadow in, um, I'm gonna put a little pink red in here at the end when it's dry. So I'm just putting in some more of this color here. I have to loosely wash it in. Just in the edges down here. A little bit over here, close to the beach. We get a little darker as we hit the water. Just a little bit. Okay, we're going to move on to the island. And that's just going to be, just throw in some simple greenery. See, I'm just blobbing it in here. We don't have to be technical with this. Right in here. That's why it's good to have that masking fluid. Because then you can just throw in all the green right on top of it. And while that's still damp and wet, I can throw in some burnt umber and some indigo. Get some more indigo. Just blend that in down below here. Just dabbing it because it's very dark in that area. Just dabbing it here. Dab, 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 dab. <laughs> Letting it blend. I grab some ultramarine. Mix that in with that. I'm just dabbing it. See, it's fairly dark except a few light green areas. So, I'm going to have it pretty dark. And you see some little trees coming up, so you just take your little t brush and wisp up a little greenery. See that? Again, take this color and dab it into here. And dab it back here. Grab some more of that bright green. Mix it in. And you kind of have your island kind of hanging out there. If you want it more blue, I had it like more brown tones here. Just go in and take your ultramarine. Put the blue in there. You want it less brown and more blue. That's fine. And extend this island a little bit. So it looks more like the picture. Now that's fairly wet, so we don't want to start working with stuff around it while that's wet. So we can try and work, it's a little wet too, on the 
sand, but we can put some greenery in there. So we're making a lighter greenery. We got the bright green with a little brown in it. Grab some more bright green. So we started to put in like those little bushes, the little bushes, and then we're gonna do some of the shading once this is dry. So again, we're just dabbing in some greenery. It doesn't have to look like these perfect bushes. Some of them have um, like little tree stems here, so I'll put some dark black and more brown. And then I'll go back in and grab my green again, and I'll just dab in the foliage of those bushes. And grab a little black in here. A little black underneath here. You see the foliage. Don't get hung up on, like, you know, how much foliage you have to have. These bushes. You're just going to be throwing in some greenery. Doesn't have to look perfect. And you want to darken the bottom here and lighter up top because it's going to be the sun shining on this section. So grab some of that lemon yellow and we'll put some bright green on the out part. Again, just pushing in the foliage. This is still damp. Um, I don't think I want to put the shadow in yet when it's going to bleed. We'll just test it out. So this is a grayish tone. Um, it's, I've mixed some burnt umber with some black and I've diluted it. And we'll see if it's going to bleed too much. It's a little too brown looking. I want to put more black. I want more black, blue, gray. So I'm going to put indigo with my black. You see here. I'll water it down. And what I'll do is I'll tap it on my paper towel. And then I'll go put the shadow in. It's still a little too dark. I'm going to take some of that color out. And there we go. So let's see. I guess it's going to work. Is it going to bleed too much? We're playing a little game here. Will it bleed? Will it not bleed? Okay, so <laughs> my phone camera is driving me crazy. So I'm going to grab these. Uh, it's a rubber cement pickup. It's the best thing ever to take up the masking fluid. Now you're going to see this is kind of right. We're going to go in and add little sh shadows and stuff to that. And we'll take up all the rest of this stuff. And see, oh, maybe the palm trees are a little too crazy, but hey. Better safe than sorry, right? So it makes a little funky noise. Kidding him. Yeah. See, this is the best thing. You could use, you don't have to use this, but this thing is awesome. Um, so, as you see, this is a little too bright. We want to tone this down. So we're going to take our brush and go in and add a little, you know, shadows of the water with the, with the turquoise going in here so it's not this crazy bright white so there's a little blue under here we'll t tone it down on the one here put some color behind it here some strokes right behind it you gotta just tone it down a little bit because it was just intensely white and then we're gonna add some strokes going in here as you see in the picture beach strokes of the wave. Still looks a little bright, so we're going to tone it down just a smidge more. Just by going on top of that. We want it to look like waves crashing, but we don't want it to look fake. You know, that would.
would be good. That wouldn't be the whole purpose. So I'm throwing in some turquoise in here. It's kind of like a little dry brush. Okay, so we're gonna hit on the palm trees now. We're gonna put in and wash in some light brown color first. Um, oops, I got black in there. So I have my burnt umber. I'm gonna grab some burnt sienna actually too. See that color here. I'm gonna water this down. Fairly wet, and I'm gonna wash in my first layer of the palm tree and the area over here under these palm tree where you would the you know, I don't want to I don't know what you call it underneath the palm tree but it's like the stem before you hit the leaves washing in the color here again in here and then we'll put the ridges in the shadows and then I'm putting in the glue, this under part of the palm tree. You can mix in some darker browns, a little touch of black. It's going to be darker. I'm just going to blend that in. Maybe that got a little too dark on that side. Goes up in here. Same thing over here. And over in here. You can bring it down too, like on one side. I'm going to go down here because it's going to be darker. And this one's behind this one, so it's going to be slightly darker. I'm going to add a little black to that. I feel like the color is getting a little too reddish. So we're going to let that dry for a bit, and we're going to work on the greenery. Now, there's a couple ways to do it. So I masked in, which is fine. Um, I'm going to mix up some more green. I'm going to grab some of this medium green. It's very bright. Grab some of this lime yellow, even more bright, but then throw in the burnt umber. So it's a little dull, bright green. Over in here, I'm going to make some darker greens. I've got my hooker's green and the red number. Okay, so I was going to use the watercolor fan brush, but I have this small acrylic one to maybe make the leaves even easier. So I'm going to grab the, the light green first. And where I have the white, I'm just going to go and go over fanning out. You see that? It just makes it for you. <laughs> it's that simple. Grab this and put it right on top of that. Might have to get some more water with this. It's not cooperating. There we go. It's going to work better for us when we do the darker color. So we can just kind of wash in over that white part, this bright color. But then we're going to use this brush for the darker tones also. Just going over the white areas. Like I said, if you don't have this, use the, you don't even have to use a fan brush mixing up some more color. So I'm going to grab the darker paint just to see what I'm talking about. I'm going to go up, over, and just pull the leaves down. See that? It just makes those, I'm just pulling it down like that. Up, and over. Look at that. Magic. <laughs> so acrylic band brush would work better because it's, it's going to give you like that thicker palm leaf. Kind of grab some of this hooker's burnt umber and a little indigo. Get that darker one coming down. I'm 
I got a little blit, it bled a little bit there, so it got a little muddy. Just be careful. Sometimes it wants to cooperate, sometimes not. Now, if you don't have this, which is fine, you can take your brush, the Princeton long round I have here, and make your lines and just whoop them down like this. Bring it up. I need some of this darker paint. I just bring them down like that. Again. Just go like that with your brush. Kind of mix in some more brighter greens because it's missing that element. Putting it right over here because the sun's shining it behind it. You can always go back over it with the darker, but you can't go light on top of it. You can with a gouache, but you can't with watercolor. So my palm leaves are not these perfect palm leaves. I'm sorry. <laughs> They're going to be funkier. It's just the way it's going to be. But I think you get the idea. And if you want to go in and paint perfect palm leaves, do that. You know, it might need more some shadows, some darker tones. Gonna go in here. Put in some real indication of leaves. Get a darker green. But you get the idea. You get those darker tones. It's kind of like if you look at the picture, they're kind of everywhere. Throw in some of those dark, don't be afraid to throw in some of those darker tones. Coming in on all sides. Again, grabbing some of that color. Because at some point they're all kind of just leaves going everywhere. Look at the picture. There's a few distinct ones. And then mostly it's leaves going everywhere. So mine isn't going to look like the picture and that's fine because I like it the way it is. And I'll just keep adding these ones over here. It's a little dark. Okay, we're going to fix the palm trees now. We're going to add a little um, darker tones to that to get the shadow and the shade. So I've got my burnt umber. I mix a little black in there. I'm going to water it down. And I'm going to put a, like, a wash on the side here. And then under here, more dark tones. See the white's getting in there, it's creeping in there. I get those darker tones in there. And here we're gonna put a wash underneath it and then up in here. A little bit darker here. And then we're gonna do those little lines that go across. You see those little ridges? palm tree. Now it seems a little too white in here. You can add another darker tone. A little darker here. Just going down there. Again, just keep filling it in so you feel like 
got the shadow color you want. The palm trees. It's a constant playing of like, okay, is that dark enough? Is that too dark? You don't want it too dark. This is a little wet, so I'm going to have to blend this. I'll clean up my brush and I'll just push it in. So I have to blend this because that bled a little bit. Same thing with this one. So we'll have to make those lines when it's a little more dry. But while we're doing that, we can go in again, add in some deeper, darker values under here. I'm going to stand up to make sure it doesn't look like a mess. <laughs> uh, my palm trees look a little messy, but that's okay. It's an expression. Getting some darker ones coming down here. While we're waiting for this to dry, we can go in and put some of the details on the sand, which is, um, again, the burnt umber, a little black, get a little wet, and they have these like, little lines, you know, lured lines. So I would put the lines in and I would take the water and just wish around near it. Because then it would look like a real beach, not like this perfect generic beach. Got these little lines going around here. And if you don't like that, because it had like a big shadow here, just take some water next to it and paper towel it. It'd be more like a line like it's supposed to be. But again, play around with that, adding those little lines. Because it's not a perfect beach. And I see like a little, looks like bits of sand if you want to just take your brush and splatter a little bit. Just a little bit. Not too much. Just a teeny bit. So it gets those sand sparkles, dots. Now we can go back into the the palm tree. Again, add those darker elements, less water, more creamy. Let's see if it's going to bleed a little bit. Those little ridges, go back in and throw those in. There's quite a few of them. If you look at the picture. Just add those in. I'm adding a little deep dark brown line on the side. And again, throwing in some more dark tones just up in here. And then blending a little bit more down here and down here. Kind of like a push and pull kind of game to make sure it's not too dark, it's not too light. But you get the idea. So I think that that about that about does it. <laughs> so we'll take up our pink and pink. Oh my goodness, people. Sorry, you know me, I'm a spaz. Take up, well, I'm taking up the, see how sticky it is? It's taking up all the cardboard. <laughs> it's a very sticky tape. Yep. But hey, the cardboard's expendable. So there you go, there's our tropical island, tropical beach scene. Kind of a long tutorial today, but I think you guys would enjoy it. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If so, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, if you haven't heard, I've put a video out about the additional to my YouTube channel, the um, the join button, which is a membership where you pay monthly, and I'm, I'm going to be giving like 
four extra videos a month, um, all different types of videos. So uh, if you want to do that, you can just hit that join button. If you can't see it on your iPad, it's because people were saying that the iPad has issues. You have to go on YouTube browser, not the app. You have to go on youtube.com and then join that way. Uh, otherwise, I think on a computer, I don't know, I think the phone was okay. So thank you guys again so much. Thank you for all your support. You guys rock. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.